Hi, I am pretty sure that everyone who has ever studied maths was annoyed by the fact that it was not possible to divide by zero. My math teachers told me many times that there was no logical way how to do it, but still, they have never really convinced me. They didn't know what they were talking about. They told me that it was not possible to divide by zero, but at the same time, they had absolutely no idea what it means to divide. The people who say that division is just an inverse operation of multiplication do not play fair, because they do not know what multiplication really is. Multiplication seems to be repeated addition, but it doesn't work if I want to multiply negative or complex numbers. Standard arithmetic doesn't give us any good answer. Now I am going to show you that in fact it might be possible to divide by zero. Take a look at the real axis. Here we have the positive infinity and here negative infinity. We can also add the imaginary axis. Ok, you know this picture. Now has it ever occurred to you that there might be no infinity, that the way we count might be just a general case of modular arithmetic with the value of zero unknown, that instead of the infinity symbol there could be just a question mark? The picture would be almost the same, only the infinity symbols are gone. Now removing infinity from the picture leads to many interesting consequences. Without any doubt, the most fascinating one is the possibility to divide by zero. First you should understand how modular arithmetic works. It is incredibly easy. To make things simple, we will assume that our zero is a prime number. But of course it could be any number. Let's choose number 5. 5 is our zero. Now we will do an experiment. We will multiply number 2 by itself. Then we will do it again and again and again. Soon a pattern emerges. It is clear that there is a cycle. The fifth power of 2 equals the first power. The fourth power of 2 equals 1. And the third power equals 1 half. Therefore, in modular arithmetic, division is in fact repeated multiplication. However, I first need to know the value of 0 to decide how many times it should be repeated. If the value of 0 is 10, then I have to repeat it 3 times. If the value of 0 is 7, then I have to repeat it 5 times. There is a simple system in that. Maybe I will explain it in some other video. In general case of modular arithmetic with the value of 0 unknown, the best thing I can get is an expression with the fraction slash 1 divided by x. Now I can multiply 0 by 0 as many times as I want and the result would be 0 again, which means that I can say that anything divided by 0 equals 0. I can hear you scream. You cannot divide by 0 because that would start a chain reaction of paradoxes. But that's not true. In modular arithmetics I can divide by 0 without any paradox. Let's take a look at the graph of the function 1 divided by x. This is how the standard version looks like. This is the general case of modular arithmetic. It is pretty similar, isn't it? The conclusion is that if you use modular arithmetic, you can divide by zero. Now you can say, this is a trap. Standard arithmetic just doesn't allow division by zero. We don't care for your modular tricks. And this is where it starts to get crazy. I say that the way we count is a general case of modular arithmetic. I say that standard arithmetic just doesn't make sense and I have some good evidence to persuade you. The concept of infinity is just a relic surviving from the medieval times. It produces a lot of ugly undefined expressions and makes it impossible to divide by zero. It is a nightmare for physicists. And it is absolutely unnecessary because mathematics works pretty well without it. In short, the idea of infinity should die.